Yo guys, Aaron here with another 10 five star pull opening. I'm getting these tokens pretty fast here. I feel like it wasn't that long since I did my last 10 pull. I think it's been like a month maybe at the most. Because they're giving away a lot of these tokens in like faction tourneys and stuff. And even in like solo level ups, they're giving away like 65,000 for like first place, which is kind of nuts. I don't mind it though, because there's still, I still want that Romanov that's in the wheel. Um, who else is in this wheel? I don't even remember. I don't think his Michonne's that bad. I know Donnie's in the wheel, but I got him in the War Tokens opening. So if I get him now, I'm going to be kind of annoyed, but we'll see. I don't think Dwayne's that good, though. But yeah, there's the Donnie. I already got him. But anyways, there's actually a decent amount going on in the game right now. Um, there's two new events coming up, which by the time I upload this video, one of them's probably already started for sure. Maybe even both of them have started. But the one that's probably for sure has already started is the Nightmare Challenge Faction Survival Road tourney. Or is, I don't know if is it a faction tourney or is it just a solo tourney. I'm not 100% sure. But pretty much it's just a Survival Road tourney with like just, that's just supposed to be like way harder, and but the rewards are better, so... I think they said like instead of twenty five levels per state or twenty five stages per like tier, it's gonna be fifty instead, and then like the, the like it's gonna be way harder and all that kind of stuff. So not bad. I feel like Survivor Road is kind of boring, so maybe this will make it interesting. So we'll see. And there's also gonna be a faction assault, uh, uh, little event thing. I forgot what it was called. Oh, Trial by Fire. That's what it's called. Basically, there's going to be like trial by fire tokens dropping when you whenever you complete a tier of the faction assault. So I think for tier six it's seventeen hundred, for tier five it's seven hundred, and it just keeps going down from there. But basically, there's going to be a wheel and a stash. So to do a pull from either of those, you need a thousand of these fire trial by fire tokens. So pretty much the way to go is to keep doing tier six because that's where you're gonna get you're gonna get the most. And it's not like if you're in a high like a really strong faction, it's it's like easy to finish. You can finish it within a couple of hours. But yeah, every time you do one of these uh, faction assault tiers, you I think the tokens the same amount of tokens drop for everyone, no matter where you where you place, like based on your score. I think just like the, the seventeen hundred tokens would drop for everyone. So. Yeah, just make sure you participate, I guess. I know my faction, we've been saving up a lot of faction assault, uh, what's it, what are they called, tickets, for a while now. I think we have enough for at least four tier six. We can do tier six four times, I believe. I can't remember exactly how much we have. But they lowered the cooldown, the cooldown times for each of the tiers also, which is nice. I think the, the event lasts about a month, so... I think I'm just going to be going straight for the wheel because I, I, I'm i pretty sure the wheel is it's not a guaranteed 5-star ascendable or 6-star, but there's some good tunes in there that you want to get. And then they're also releasing the next Dual Specialist tune, which I don't think I ever talked about the Dual Specialist tunes, but I don't mind them because they're pretty hard to get because you need two fully leveled 6-stars. They're not like free 6-stars or legacy tunes. They're like ones you have to pay for. And then you need these like black flags and like red flags and like... I think this new one is going to need blue flags because it's a tough tune. <clears throat> but we'll have to see. Let's just do this 10 pull here. Um, the events are pretty solid. I'm excited for them. The survival rule one is going to be super interesting because I feel like I'm just going to get bored while playing it because it's going to end up being human teams that are like impossible to kill and take like take like 10 more turns than it needs to to kill them just because they're going to be super buffed up stats. They can have super buffed up, buffed up stats, but we'll see. Let's go for this pull here. Let's see what I get. If I get Donnie, I'm going to be kind of annoyed because I just pulled him in the War Tokens wheel. But I feel like he's one of the better tunes in the wheel, so there's probably less chance to get him maybe. Even though it's supposed to be equal chance to get all five star ascendables. Oh, we got the Dwight. I think I already have him though. I'm not 100% sure. Depends. There's like two, I think there's like two Dwight's and they look like basically the same. Ooh, we got two Ascendables. Okay. I don't think I've gotten that Abraham before. Which which Dwight is this? 
Oh, it's the one that comes with the weapon. I don't know if I got him before. Or there's another one that doesn't come with a weapon, I think. All tough teams get 40 attack, 36 crit. Hmm. Not, not bad. Pretty solid AR. Impair one enemy for two turns. Not bad. Not a horrible tune, but I don't think I'm going to use him. Yeah, probably won't use him. I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to see. Where, where's the other tune here? Abraham. Um, 66 AP. Pretty good attack tune, I'd say. Not a horrible tune, but I don't know how I'm using it either. I remember facing this Abraham, like, people were using him on defense, and he would just, like, die right away for his turn. Which, obviously, that was on defense, though, for attack, he's probably way more useful. We'll see, though. I don't know if I'm going to use him or not. Oh. Pain split. Not bad. Not bad. I don't know how he fit in with my team. At this point in the game, like, these, like, lower tiered six stars are pretty useless to me. Because, like, I just need, like, the super high overpowered tunes at this point. Like, that's the only way my team's going to get better. Not with tunes like this. Like, not this is not a bad tune or anything, but, like, he's not useful to me right now. We'll see. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe I will end up using him. Any of these other tunes going to become ascendable one day? Who knows? I feel like they should do a, a six star Javier because there's... It, a six or Javier doesn't even exist right now, I don't think. It would be nice. We need more Telltale tunes to be ascendable. I think the Javier would be nice. Um, another Lee would be nice too. That'd be, I, I think there's already two Clementines. I mean, there's, there's at least one Clementine I know of for sure. This Jesus is such an OG tune. He needs to become ascendable too one day. Everyone used him because like, he would just demolish teams. 45 AP, and he dealt damage to everyone. The good old days. People, this Michonne is a pretty OG tune also. I remember if she popped off, she would kill everyone too. But her AP was too high, so like it wasn't a huge, huge deal. But she was definitely used for Walker teams. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Peace.